Come on, church. Raise the roof high for God. Raise the roof high for Jesus. Raise the roof high for the King of Kings. Hallelujah. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. He says, I am God and there's none beside me. So God said he won't swear, but there's nothing to swear by. Because nothing comes to his standard. God is good. Are you guys ready for this evening? See, this is not a time where you sit and let's see what's going on. Because you will have your own encounter. Like the Bible says, the word is now you, is in your mouth. All you need to do is release it. DJ, get me in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 22. 2 Chronicles 20 22. It says, as they began to sing and praise, the Lord sent ambushes against the men of Hammon, Moab, and Mansia, who were invading Judah, and they were what? Defeated. So I don't know who I've gathered against you. I don't know what they've arranged. I don't know the plan they've made. But the Bible says when they gather together and start praising God, God himself, he says, I am ahead of you. I says, I'm with you. He says, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. And what's the result? You will not fail. So one of your responsibilities is to praise him. Is to praise him. So this evening, I need you. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. DJ, get me a Psalm 149, verse 9. TPT. To see that the weapon you have is actually your praise. Praise feed warriors will enforce judgment doom, decreed against their enemies. This is the glorious honor he gives to all his godly lovers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do we have praise feed warriors today? Do we have praise feed warriors this evening? Me, I will praise God in my own, for myself. I will not praise God for you. So I need you to this evening. Because this is what's going to happen. Bring that scripture back again. This is what's going to happen. You're going to enforce judgment. The Bible says they will gather for your sake. But what does it say? They will not stand you. So these are the judgments you need to enforce. I don't know the challenge you're facing at your workplace. I don't know the challenge you're facing at work, in your family, in your business. Whatever be that challenge. I need you to rise up in praise this evening. I need you to stir up in praise because you're serving a king who is, he has fought wars from the beginning. And for every war he has gone to, he has come out victorious. All you need to do is engage him in his services. Praise the Lord. So the next few minutes, I just want to pray, just want to decree. Every distraction, anything that will hinder me, from praising God that will hinder me from assessing his presence this evening begin to rebuke it because God has a word for you today God has something for you God has something for you specifically made for you Zuki zedede mine tu zikiti zedede beku zebeki zudedi rin de zoku peti zedede de lahi mekoto zeke menende zuli ike tu zakitali rike tu zebede I need you to be in a decree begin to make that declaration that this evening you will encounter God for yourself hey nothing will come in between nothing will come in between. 
that you will encounter God directly this evening. You will live here with an encounter. You will live here with an encounter. La hi kapatoze, zuki zebedi menendo, zili ketoze kita li kapade, zobedi menende. Rike tu zelibadi. Ayi manarande. Father, we give you praise. Wiki tuze. We de 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 mali katoze kemene. Pull down every wall. Anything that will stand as a barrier. Pull them down this evening. Pull them down this evening. Lahi kapatoze. That you will call. Li hando zoke petiza. Rike toze de de de. We menu zuki petiza de de de. Raki zutu ze de de. We ne koto ze kiti ze de de. In Jesus' name, DJ, get me Hebrews 4.16. Hebrews 4 verse 16. It says, let us then approach God's throne of grace. With what? With what? So that we may receive what? And find what? To help us. Is anybody in a time of need today? So what God is saying to you, come with confidence. I don't know whatever it is that is holding you back. But God's word to you is come with confidence. Approach his throne with that mindset that God will give you something today. That you will receive something, you won't go back the same. You're not going back the same. That you won't go back the same. That you will live here today having obtained mercy and grace to help you. Praise the Lord. One more, we're going to pray. Let's just be in the praying tongues. Let's be in the charge of ourselves. Let's be in the charge of the atmosphere. Be in the praying tongues. I need us be in the praying tongues. Zede mali katoze bedize, zubridi zeketoze bedi, remenendo kopetize de de de, rando zo kopete kita, zedi mekusali bene ketoze de de de. Church begin to pray in tongues. La matuze kepetuze de de de. If you cannot pray in tongues, begin to declare God's word. He says it will be ahead of you. We kapatoze. He says it will be with you. Zekepetoze de de. He says it will not leave you. We matuze kete. He says it will not forsake you. Zakali manato, so you will not fail. We makatali bedede, we ketuzi bekikali bedede, when du zuki peti kati, le de makuze beki, zudi beki mani katali dedede, when the cause peki zedede, we du zuki peti ka, lande dedede makuzo beki, zedede ke bali adadoze, we menendo koto zeki. Ziki zopedi, la katande ke petoze, we meko zopedi, zedi ke tu zede de de ke menu, zebeki tu zedi, la kamando kote zedi, leki zopekita, rando zoko pete de de de, we ke tu zeki meni katali, zuti bedi maki sutuze, when the key to the day, church, I need you to pray. May I declare that word, declare that word, li kapatoze. We can use the as you declare, you begin to build up expectation. You begin to build up expectation. Ramandu zuki pedi, la katoze ke menende, we katoze ki bali katari, when menondu ki petize. Zediki to Zedide, say come boldly. You will receive mercy, you will obtain grace. Laka Manande, Zuki Peti Katade, whatever be it is, you will obtain mercy this evening. You will obtain grace this evening. Rikando Zeke Paliado, Zedede de Kemenondo, Zeki Zutu Peki, Zeke Supali Katade de de de. Charge of the atmosphere, begin to make that declaration. We know Zuki Adiza. Zeki zupikite de de de, li metu zekita. Is it healing you want? God's presence will do. He, his presence is here. Landa zeke petoze. His healing power is here this evening. Li makotoze. Are you standing in charge for someone? Are you standing for someone? Wherever that person is, this evening, kasande ki patoze de de. Leke menendo kopetiza. 
Zuki zadi kamande kitu zedede. Zuli peki sukitali zedede de kemenose. Rike toze kali imenendo kopeti zekiti zedede. Wakando zoke peti zuli peki za zende kitu zekete zedede. Rime kuzi kipiti zedede. Leke zima kuzi. Vandose ke petosa. We do so keep a teaser the day. Push once more in his presence. Push once more in his presence. Push a little bit more. Kaye patose. Your breakthrough this evening. You will encounter God this evening. You will encounter God this evening. Katsama ketosa. Father, we give you praise. We adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we give you praise. Shallows of our spirit open up. Let it be released. Father, we stand in we stand ready to receive from you. Ready to encounter you. Thank you, awesome God. For in Jesus' name we pray. With Jesus' joy, let's make welcome my pastor, Kingsley Okonkwo. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please take your seat for one minute. Hallelujah. God is a good God. How's your day going so far? <laughs> amen, amen. All right. Um, we're basically here to worship today. And, um, on Sunday, we were looking at something in church about how that the Bible said God blesses his beloved when they sleep. Praise God. DJ, give me that scripture, the CEV version that we used. It says useless for you, you know, to hustle in this life, to, to wake up early and to stay up late. Did you hear what I said? Wow. Give me, yes, yes, simple. Is this CV we used? Okay. What is my word? Okay, without the help of the Lord, it's useless to build a home or to guard a city. Next verse. Next verse, yes, this is what I wanted. It said, it is useless to get up early and to stay up late in order to earn a living. He said, God takes care of his own. Even while they sleep. Hallelujah. Come on, say, God takes care of his own. Very important. And there's something similar uh, between sleep and worship. One of it is that usually our eyes are closed when we sleep. And when we really worship, our eyes too are closed. Hallelujah. When we sleep, we're in a position of surrender. because, And when we also worship, we're in a position of surrender. The key here is that as we worship tonight, let your focus be on, you know, let your focus not be on any situation, but on the one that can change every situation. That's what, that's what should happen today. And that's what worship is about. It's where we lose track of anything around us and we focus on the one that can control everything around us. Hallelujah. Are you excited this evening? Are you hungry this evening? Hallelujah. With joy in our hearts, without wasting time, please welcome with me God's servant, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. can do better. Come on, give the Lord a big shout. Hallelujah. Can you give it to the Lord of Lords? If you are alive in 2022, give it to the Lord of Lords, the one who preserved you, the one who kept you safe. Hallelujah. Bless him. Bless him. 
gave him a new name some days back. I said, you are everything, including my vaccine. You are my vaccine. You are my protection. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. We sing it this song a few weeks now. For he
present your body a living sacrifice if you came here and you feel maybe I've not really lived right a few days I've not been in right standing this is a good time to just reconnect to God just take advantage of the cleansing power and the blood of Jesus just say wash me tonight let nothing hinder me let there be no barrier in my thoughts the works of my hands in my walk with you cleanse me cleanse me open your mouth for the next for me what can wash away that this service will be a landmark in someone's I'm here to lead worship and also to prophesy tonight Amen Hope you know we prophesy when we play the instrument. Go to 1 Chronicles 25 Let me show you. So it doesn't sound like um, a, a big bogus spiritual term. 1 Chronicles 25 Amen. How many of you
you were blessed from the last one we did. Very soon we'll have the ones where we can take testimonies. David together with, moreover, David and the captains of the army separated for the service of some of the sons of Asaph, of Haman, and Jeditan, who should do what? With what? If you can read verse 2 again. Of the sons of Asaph, Zechor, Joseph, Nathaniah, and Ashela, the sons of Asaph were under the direction of Asaph, who prophesied. So that's why I tell musicians, I said, you can't stop. Stop behaving like a band the instrumentalist. You're a prophet. When you play that drums, play with without consciousness. You're not just knocking something. You are prophesying. And tonight we're going to prophesy. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise God? Yeah. I was going to tell PK, but I forgot. I'm shared on Instagram to ask people to come with their shekere today. I was feeling that hallelujah challenge anointing today. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Amen. Island and mainland. Those mainland people are rugged. So stop doing VI and island for me. Because most of you here came from the mainland. You lived on the mainland. Now you don't enter like you, they form. Who are you forming for? Somebody lose yourself. Hey, 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 hey. hey! Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time, brothers, hey, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Everybody, everybody, hey, shout hallelujah, 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 hey, hallelujah, amen, jump Wow. Wow. 
it's like this we have to maximize the anointing there are men who are gathering together for 2023 plotting out the destiny of nigeria can i announce to them that there is a game changer coming there is a game changer coming associate yourselves all you people and you shall be broken in pieces take counsel and it shall not stand for god is with us the name of the lord is a strong tower we announce that in 2023 only the counsel of god shall stand the name of the lord is a While I was singing this song, the spirit reminded me of the word that I woke up with. And I'm going to share it shortly on social media. That in this season, God wants to break barriers. Say break barriers. In this service, I come as a prophet tonight. I come as a psalmist. That as we worship, long-standing barriers in your life. And I prophesy from Isaiah 45 verse 1 and 2. 45 verse 1 and 2 NLT version as we worship get ready barriers in your office barriers in your marriage barriers in Nigeria barriers in your community hey strong tower your name is a strong Amen. Revelation 19 verse 3. The Bible says as they sang, the smoke of the war went up. Hallelujah is a powerful statement. It's a spiritual utterance. When we unleash it by the spirit, the atmosphere of heaven comes down. Are you ready to proclaim? Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Understand that that name is the most powerful name in the whole of the universe. That name has global jurisdiction, universal jurisdiction. Yeshua Hamashiach, the native name of our Lord. I want you to open your mouth and declare with faith for whosoever shall call upon on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be saved, shall be saved. Hey, say Yeshua, Yeshua, Hamashiach. You are like the Lion of Judah. I put a chip Yeshua, Yeshua, Hamashiach. You are like the Lion of Judah. Hey, you are the one who parted the rest. You are the one who.
we gather at the beginning of this year just to delight our, ourselves and our hearts before you our focus is on you tonight not on the miracles not on signs and wonders but on you Lord Jesus the one who has no beginning and the end You are the beginning and ending, Alpha and Omega. You're seated in the circle of the earth. You are the God who made the universe out of void and emptiness. You spoke the word and it fell into place. deeper than my mind can grasp and what my eyes can see eternity won't be enough to tell of you as long as I've got breath in me and through the grave beyond I'll declare the greatness of you Just pause. Think about that. What is a man that you are mindful of him? The heavens of the heavens cannot contain your majesty. Yet you've made my heart your dwelling place. Yes, God. The heavens of the heavens cannot contain your majesty. And yet you've made my heart your dwelling place. We have some quiet in the house then can we can i have some silence can we just reverence his holy presence here i want to sing that verse again <sighs> he's so glorious this god is so glorious the heavens of the heavens cannot contain your majesty and yet you've made my heart your dwelling place. I find it hard to understand the reason for this kind of love from mortal men who sometimes doesn't care. You took the journey See the dead so I can leave her again. If this 
This is not the greatest love. I wonder what it is. That's why I see.
want to help someone here who is always complaining. There is not one person in this house that has not experienced the goodness of God. No matter how bad your situation is, it would have been worse.
one secret is to meditate on the goodness of God just if you gaze at the goodness of God you will be shocked faith will rise if you gaze on the goodness of God for long your perspective changes all of a sudden faith begins to rise
three months later, that which was, which, which was impossible, they come and turn it around. They turn their decision around. God turned it around. And then he kept his vow, flew me back to Orlando, Florida. Then I was standing in front of the altar about to get up to minister. And then the heavens just opened. And I just began to sing for the first time in October. See what the Lord has done. now by this time next year when I come here again by the grace of God the baby you are waiting for the wedding you have been preparing for the job you've been waiting for the healing you've been waiting for the property you've been proceeding about I speak by the spirit of God for the testimony of Jesus is his spirit of prophecy. I release that same anointing here. The barriers are breaking. I see some of you in your new office. I see that brother promoted. I see a way open for you. You will sit in that new office and declare, see what the Lord has done. You will carry your baby. You will walk in your wedding gown. You will enter that place. You will enter that property. Hey! See what What we wait has come to pass. See what the Lord can you help me prophesy this one? When I was recording this song last year, I had no plan of mentioning Nigeria, but for some reason, it looks as if God blesses the burning of this nation on me. Any small thing I sing, Nigeria, Nigeria. Can you raise your hands and let's prophesy that by 2023, by this time next year, we will begin to see what the Lord.
vision 2020, the year of this thing. We enter 2020, we are locked down. God showed that he's the, he's the commander of, 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 of the universe. We had no plans for coronavirus. All of these are signs of the times. This is not the time to live life without Jesus. If you are here tonight, every eye closed. You want to say, Brother Nathaniel, I want to commit my life to Christ. I'm tired of playing church. Enough of playing church. I want to experience the same God you sing about. Wherever you are, without shame, without any fear, can you raise your hands? Let me pray for you. God bless you. God bless you all over this place. Raise your hands. Now, those of you raising your hands, can you come to Jesus? Just come forward. Take one more step. Come forward. This is ultimate worship. The offering of yourself. Come forward. Come towards me. Take a bold step forward. What a great time. Strategic time. January, the beginning of the year to say, you know, I want to surrender my life. I want to surrender my life. Enough of games. See, it doesn't matter how far deep you've gone in sin. Come. There's too much grace here tonight. See what the Lord has done. Come. What we God bless you. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. No man can come to him except the Father draws him. No man can come to God. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. for drawing them. Thank you for the working of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit drawing them tonight. Now those of you in front, you're going to pray with me out loud. You're going to say with me out loud. You see, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, you will be saved. Something will happen. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud, Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I believe your word. I believe you died. I believe you rose again and are seated at the right hand of the Father. Thank you for dying for me. Tonight, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I forsake my sins. Wash me in your blood. And write my name in the book of life. See, I declare that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. From today, by your grace, I will live for you in holiness and truth. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and use me for your glory in Jesus' name. Can you help me do something? Can you lay your hands on your head as a point? Father, I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will rest on this one to walk in them both to will and do of your good pleasure. That the power of sin is broken forever. I release grace to say no to ungodliness and to worldly lust in the name of Jesus. And as they have sung, see what the Lord has done. They will declare throughout this year see what the Lord has done. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Everybody standing. Now, let me tell you, if only one of these people came tonight, there will be such a huge party in heaven. But can you see what the Lord has done? Yeah. I know, I know they have to go with this sister, right? And please, you, 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 you all have to go with this sister. But the second thing I want to do, every time I come here, um, Pastor K gives me the privilege of, you know, taking the of receiving the offering. Now, what I've learned to do, 
I give my offerings prophetically. I learned a long time for me that worship was not the seed for financial breakthrough. Yeah. There are some musicians, worship leaders who sing and think because they sing, they'll be blessed. No. If you don't engage the principle that make for financial provision, you will be a powerful singer but broke heading to heaven. Yes. So I remember years ago, I went to my pastor. This is apart from my offering. My pastor, who is the director of budget, as a church musician, I said, Pastor, I like what I see in you. I just felt like, I just want to show so this prophetic seed of 5,000. I know I'm a church musician. I just want to honor you. Someone who has been an MD of a bank, what does he need from me? He laid hands on me and said, God will increase you. I've given that seed every year now. Without fail, I give it in millions now. Yeah. God has taken me to a place where I buy cars for my staff. We buy houses. Now, but we don't give because of those things. We give because we love him. But it's impossible to not be blessed when we give to him. So I'm not going to tell you what you give. Every time I come here, I give, you know, in the multiple of the year. I give. So, whatever the Lord leads you, let's seal this atmosphere of great worship. Declaring, see what the Lord has done. Just take that prophetic seed and just sing. Say, see what You better tell your neighbor, say, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for. What we waited for. you would say my eyes have seen and my ears have heard I have seen what the Lord has done the baby I've been waiting for he has brought it to pass hey see my eyes see my Samuel Father, we just say we honor you. Thank you for your sweet presence. Thank you for breaking barriers tonight. Thank you for drawing men to you. Thank you for drawing women. Thank you for your precious anointing. Thank you for your grace. We bless you. We just say we love you. Because this is a see what the Lord has done prophetic offering. That by this time next year, we, we promise to take five minutes to take testimonies from tonight. Because without fail, we will see what the Lord has done. What we waited for. What we waited for. here who worshipped last year that by virtue of the atmosphere last year you knew that God moved something in your life. God did something in your life last year. Can I? Is there anybody here? Anybody? Okay. We don't have time. Next year when we come I'll beg Pastor Key we'll give because I'm, I trust that God is shifting people in this house. One more time, see. See what the Lord has done. Oh, see what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Hallelujah.
faith, if you believe and you know and you know and you know that God has already done something in your life, can you give God a shout of praise this evening? Can you celebrate him more than that? Give the Lord a shout, give the Lord a jump. God has done something in your life this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Then before you sit down, can we honor the man of God that God has sent to us this evening? I think we can do much better than that. Hallelujah. He has released an anointing and a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, everyone. You can take your seats. Please take your seats. Stewards, we can go around to collect the offering. Stewards, we can go around to collect the offering. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. How many of us were blessed this evening? We thank God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So please quickly listen to the following announcements. Please join us this Sunday. Hallelujah. As we appreciate the father of this house. Hallelujah. We can do better than that. Hallelujah. So this Sunday is our pastor's appreciation service. And we'll be appreciating our father and our pastor, praise God. So please join us by 9 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. right here. Also, if you would like to be part of the celebrations, please feel free to reach out to any of the resident pastors, praise God. Also, please join us next week, Tuesday, for our midweek service by 6.30 p.m. right here, praise God. Um, all through this week, we've been fasting and praying. Um, so it will continue tomorrow till Friday. So it's a full food fast, and we end each day by 6 p.m. So we'll be praying by 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. via Zoom, praise God. But on Friday, we're going to end the fast with something special, praise God. We're going to end with praise and prayer, hallelujah. See, this 2022 is really the year of the Lord, hallelujah. So please join us on site right here by 6 30 p.m we'll be praising and thanking god so on friday there will be no zoom prayers by 6 p.m there'll be zoom prayers by 6 a.m but not by 6 p.m by 6 30 we're meeting right here for praise and prayer praise god hallelujah registration into our discipleship school the journey has commenced okay it begins on saturday the 5th of february to the 26th of february um, please register. There's provision for on-site and online attendance, so please register. If we may ask, can we not leave the hall yet? The service hasn't ended, so we re request that you please be patient. Let's properly close the service. Praise God. Manuel, hallelujah. Are there ladies in the house? Amen. So we have a conference just for you. Tagged, act like a lady, think like a boss. It's happening on Saturday, the 5th of February by 11 a.m. right here. Um, I hear registration is going to close next week, Thursday. We're almost at capacity. So if you've not registered, please do so by scanning the barcode that will be projected. Praise God. Do we have anyone worshipping with us for the first time today? Can we have a wave of anyone worshipping with us? Thank you very much. We love you. We appreciate you. If you're around them, can you give them a high five? Celebrate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We want you to keep coming. When we see you on Sunday, we'll celebrate you properly. Please, can we rise as we close the service? Hallelujah. We're about to close the service with our theme song.
tell them that the battle is already won. And as David never lost the battle, so will God's walk with you be. All right, have a good evening. See you on Sunday. Say hey! hey.